Today God wants to say something to you from that heart. My cherished child, it's possible that you're dealing with something more serious than you initially anticipated. This is life's conflict. There are days when you feel stronger than others. Remember always that I am stronger than you are. I will see you through each challenging moment and help you reach the other side. You underestimate your strength by a great margin. Remain persistent. Remember to stay positive. Hold your head high. Always keep your blessings in mind. I shall fulfill my promises to you throughout your lifetime. Allow my tranquility to envelop your heart and thoughts. I am able to move every obstacle in your path. I'm able to take you to new heights and locations. I have the capacity to do above and beyond anything you could possibly ask for or imagine. Remain persistent. If you are feeling a positive vibe, then like this video. The Lord claims to the person who is nervous, I shall freely offer water from the spring that contains the water of life profoundly. From this spring in order to live a bountiful life dot in you, allow the life-giving water to permeate every part of your existence, revitalizing and revitalizing you. You are free to take as much of this life water as you choose because it is free. One toll of me as much as you desire. I am the hope of glory, Christ in you. I want you to continually yearn for me, your God. This is essential sense. Thirst is a very strong appetite, sadly. Alcohol provides for life even more than food does. Choosing pure water over bottled drinks that are loaded with chemicals or sugar is far better. In a similar vein, your spiritual well-being depends on you seeking me first and foremost. For a while, other things might seem to satisfy you, but they can't quench your soul's desire. Celebrate that. What you require most is provided without cause. Drink joyfully from the springs of salvation. I am your living God. I am the risen one. Enjoy the blessing of serving a savior who is bursting. With enthusiasm, joy also comes from my assurance that I will be by your side forever. You can be strengthened by these truths to endure the most difficult situations or setbacks you may ever experience. Come with me on this brave journey through life, confidently trusting in the one who never lets go of your hand. Think about what I am offering you, my own self, pardon for all your transgressions and eternal joy in paradise. All of this is so opulent and rich that it is beyond comprehension completely. Worshiping me is crucial for this reason. It's a potent method of communicating with me that goes beyond your comprehension. It also announces my arrival. Worshiping me can take many forms, such as hymns and praise songs, studying and memorization of my word, solitary and group, prayer, and glorying in the wonders of my creation. Worshiping also consists of serving and loving others with my love. Do whatever you do for the glory of God, including my honor. Everything about you is complete, and my love for you is flawless and unwavering. More self-acceptance and self-understanding are goals that many people pursue. Type Amen if you believe in Christianity. Their quest is motivated by a deep-seated need to connect with someone who genuinely gets them and embraces them for who they are. I am someone who 
can satiate this ingrained desire completely, you come to understand who you truly are via our friendship. I know this for sure, so I urge you to be honest with me by letting down your guard and giving me your whole self. Search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts is what you should say as you get closer. You will see things you need to change when you look into my pure sight, but don't give up. I'll support you. Remain asleep in my company. My love that floods you with itself because of how open you are to me. Give this potent love some time to fill you up from the inside out and overflow into joyful praise. Exult in your whole knowledge and unending love to ensure that no one who believes in me remains in the dark. I came into the world as a light. Not only did I bring light into the world, but I am also infinitely strong and all-powerful. Heat can put an end to this illumination you turned into a kid of light and brilliance when you put your faith in me. This enables you to view things from my point of view. Things in your heart and things in the world. This the revelation of your innermost thoughts might be extremely unsettling, but it's the path to liberation. If it results in repentance and walking in my ways, celebrate your enlightened viewpoint and believers. Minds have been clouded by the God of this age, making it impossible for them to see the gospel of my glory. However, because you are my beloved, the knowledge of my glory is beaming in your heart, huge joy. The best gift possible is me. You have everything you need for this life and the next when you have me. I pledge to provide for all of your needs out of my magnificent wealth, but occasionally my loved ones Ungrateful attitude prevents them from appreciating the riches I provide. They yearn for what they lack rather than being grateful for everything they have. They thus experience dissatisfaction. I am teaching you to be obedient to me in every situation and to exercise the sacrifice of gratitude first and foremost. Express gratitude for all the benefits in your life. Then pause to consider the incredible gift of knowledge. Me, no matter how much or how little you have in this world, your relationship with me makes you incredibly wealthy. I am your loving Savior, your living God, and your continuous companion. Thus, remember to add the limitless wealth you possess in me when you count your benefits. If you include me in the equation, your appreciation will increase greatly. More fully you arbitrary demand. It's the key to living a more abundant life. Enjoy my presence more fully. Living a life of self-forgetfulness is pleasant. Neat too. Consider yourself less and less this isn't an exercise to try to track how much time you spend considering oneself. Examine the contents of your thoughts. I see every single one of your thoughts, even if they are hidden from others unless you choose to disclose them as soon as you recognize that your thoughts are unworthy of me. Try your hardest to shift the topic Try associating a self-centered thought that keeps coming back with a favorite scripture or a quick prayer if you're having trouble with it. This serves as a bridge to get your attention, diverting it from you and toward me. Saying I love you, Lord, in prayer, for instance, 
can rapidly bring your attention to me. Do not give up. If you need to repeat this method numerous times, I am pleased with your endeavor to train your mind to seek my face. Seal me, my dear, and have a bountiful life, a man. Appearances at the outside, however, I examine the heart. Being able to see is a wonderful blessing. I allow the visual splendor of nature to give glimpses of my grandeur, outstanding sculptures, paintings, and film. Additionally, rape can aid with soul awakening. Enjoy these wonderful gifts, but try not to let them control. You dot relatives, I try to make your heart look beautiful, but my main concern is its state. Dot making time for nurturing your heart is essential. Above all, take care of your heart, because it is the source of all life. A wellspring is a plentiful supply source. You are my property, so my existence revolves around you. But in order to maintain this abundant life, you have to guard your heart from bad influences and feed it with prayer and Bible study. It can be quite liberating to match your priorities with what I'm teaching. Shut your eyes and stare at me. When you don't like the way things appear in your world, recall that I am God with you, Emmanuel. Type yes if you agree and share this video with nine people who trust God. I am both life and resurrection. Even in death, he who believes in me will live. After her brother Lazarus passed away, I told Martha this reality, and she accepted it. Lazarus obeyed my command to emerge from his grave shortly after and he did. Even though he ultimately perished once more, as all people do, he knew that, like all believers, he would rise. Again, Dot, I imparted this lesson to my disciples just before I was crucified. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am all that you could ever require in this life. I am all that you could ever require in this life and this subsequent one. I am the treasure that all other riches encircle. This fact has the power to greatly simplify your life. I am the joy that transcends all space and time, that solution to all of your problems. I am able to make it challenging dot moments, tolerable and joyful moments completely pleasant. So, dear, come to me exactly as you are. Tell me more and more about your life, joy and your travels. Decide the way who leads you at all times and the resurrection who bestows upon you everlasting life. You have to think less and less about yourself if you want to completely appreciate my presence. T. This is the key to living a more abundant life. It is not an arbitrary requirement. Living a life of self-forgetfulness is pleasant. Dot make an effort to monitor how much time you spend dot considering oneself. Examine the contents of your thoughts, I see. Every single one of your thoughts even if they are hidden from others unless you choose to disclose them. As soon as you recognize that your thoughts are unworthy of me, try your hardest to shift the topic. Try associating a self-centered thought that keeps coming back with a favorite scripture or a quick prayer if you're having trouble with it. This serves as a bridge to get your attention, diverting it from you and toward me, for instance, can rapidly bring your attention to me. Do not give up if you need to. Repeat this method numerous times. I am pleased with your endeavor to train your mind to seek my face.
seek me, dear, and have a bountiful life. Write I love you, Jesus, if you believe. My dear child, feel my presence, hold on to me tightly, and know that my promise to help you is eternal and unchanging. I am always with you, and my love for you is unwavering. Remember, I am the potter, and you are the clay. I crafted you with care and purpose, shaping each part of you with intention. When you let me work in your life, I can mold you into something beautiful, prepared for the amazing plans I have for you. You are a vessel of honor filled with my love. When fear and doubt creep in, call out to me, whether you whisper or shout, let your prayers rise to me. I hear every cry, and in my perfect timing, you will see my deliverance. Think of David, a young shepherd who faced the giant, Goliath with unwavering faith, knowing that the battle was mine, your battles are mine too, and with my strength you will overcome. Come and sit with me, let my words from long ago, the Beatitudes, the parables, the Psalms bring comfort to your soul, just as manna from heaven sustained the Israelites in the desert, my word will sustain you, be still, and know that I am God. Seek me in the quiet moments, and you will find me there. You are not meant to journey through life alone. There will be challenges and dark times, but my love will always guide you home. Every new day is a chance to rise up with the assurance that I am with you. Do not forget this promise. My love is steadfast and wavering, and it will carry you through any storm. Trust in my love, for it is the light that guides you, the strength that sustains you, and the courage that emboldens you. Live boldly, and with conviction, your faith is a flame that burns away dot. Let my love be your beacon, a lighthouse guiding you through the darkest nights, trust in my love, for it is a rage over troubled waters, a light upon your path, and a whisper of courage in the silence. I am with you always, too, the very end of the age. Go forth in peace, my child, and live in the fullness of my love. You are mine, and I am yours forever. Do not be afraid, for there is no enemy that can defeat you. Speak out loud that you believe in me when you face problems. Remember that you have already given me your life and your heart. Nothing in this world can separate you from my love. To concur enter to 122. Think about this truth. Even when everything around you changes, my love remains constant in a world where people and hopes sometimes fade. My love is a stronghold against the winds of loneliness. Hold on to me with all your strength, and you will find stability amidst the chaos. When thoughts of fear and worrying come, know that they will fail in the face of my love. Perfect love casts out all fear. Reach for my hand with the trust of a child and find safety in my presence. Think about the richness of the earth, the hidden gems, and the gold, just as these treasures are hidden. Beneath the surface, so is the depth of my love for you. My love is the foundation that will keep you strong, no matter how much the world shakes around you, trust in this promise, and let my love be your anchor. I am always with you, and nothing can change that. You are my beloved child, and I am your God, 
now and forever. My love for you is vast and unchanging. It is your gift and birthright, given freely to all who come into my light. Listen, my child, to the words of the Spirit, which speak of a love that never fails. Your trust in me should be as unwavering as the rising sun and as constant as the stars in the sky. Look at the lily in the field, they do not toil or spin yet. Even Solomon in all his splendor was not clothed like one of these. If I can make the grass of the field so beautiful, won't I do even more for you, my beloved? Be honest with me, for your words mirror your thoughts. Making room in your heart for me is a beautiful gift. Do not hold back your hopes, wants, anger, or doubts. Tell me everything, for I am your friend and the one who truly understands you. The storms of life may have shaken you, causing anxiety and distress. Your soul may have been wounded by disrespect and abuse, leaving you longing for peace. Trust in my words. I will strengthen your heart, you will find. Peace even in hard times and strength when you are weak. Fear will not overtake you when you fall. Hold on to my promise. Come to me when your burdens are too heavy. Stay strong and remember that I am always with you. Do not let fear keep you from the good things ahead. I choose to bless you because I love you. This is a day of success, a day to cherish my vows made with my blood. Happiness will come, and I will grant you eternal life. There will be no more sadness or pain when you are with me. Open your eyes, this is your sign, the problems that weigh you down will fade, and the help you need is on its way. Know that I love you deeply today. My love for you is made manifest. Tell me you love me. Tell me you trust me. I know your worries and your frustrations. Be patient. I will help you through everything. I will show you my power in your life, turning problems into opportunities for growth. You are precious to me, and I will Never allow harm to come to you. Pay attention to the signs I send. I see dangers you cannot imagine and the hidden intentions of others. Not everyone who claims to be a friend is truly one. Do not let false friends bring you down. Trust that your prayers are heard. The setbacks you face are answers to your prayers for protection. Take a deep breath, for I am about to bring you peace and comfort. Trust that I am working to remove obstacles and traps from your path. When the time comes to move forward, you will be safe. I have always held your hand, never letting go. Now you must do your part, trust me, believe in me, and be brave, lift your head high, and let go of your sadness. Taipei adored Jesus. Dear listener, join this prayer with me and repeat after me. Father in heaven, now I acknowledge your dominion over my life and Existence by bowing down before you, your grace humbles me and makes it possible for me to appreciate how beautiful this new day is. The soft light of the sun on my face reminds me of your unwavering love which shines on my journey. I am grateful for the chance to invoke your name and ask for your heavenly favors. Heavenly Father, I ask that your name be treated with honor 
and reverence. In my life and the lives of others around me as I say the words of this prayer, may my words, deeds, and thoughts exalt your enduring grandeur. Lord, I recognize that I am a work in progress that is always looking to develop and get better. I need to be rejuvenated today, mentally and spiritually, Father. Please rejuvenate my thoughts and feelings just like the morning dew revives the ground. Please rid me of all negativity and burdens that prevent me from achieving your goals. Gratitude, I long for the peace that comes only from your presence in a world that frequently seems chaotic and overpowering. I beseech you from the bottom of my heart to pour your peaceful energy into me and fill my heart with tranquility. May I eventually become a source of comfort and inspiration for everyone I come into contact with by letting my inner serenity emanate from me indeed. I appreciate you still watching. You must join our channel by subscribing and if you wish, you can express your gratitude by donating through Super Thanks.